Uh, to fix this, we're going to go ahead and make a new function called vector3 get upward vector. And this will take in forward. Um, so if we are not grounded. It is grounded. So if we're not grounded, then we want to have some upward uh, vector. And upward is going to equal, it's going to plus equals physics dot gravity times time dot delta time. And then we're going to say, uh, This should be forward. And forward is going to plus equals our upward vector. Forward. So now if we save, hey look, we fell and hit the ground. Okay. So we can turn left and right, we fall down and hit the ground, and we can move around, uh, but we cannot jump. So. In order to jump, we need to have a jump height, and um, we need to know when we're jumping. So public rule is jumping is false. We need public float height. And that is all we need at this point. So in here, we're going to have the else case. So if we're not grounded, then if we are jumping, we want to do something. And then we're going to have one more case in here. Um, for now, it's just going to be void check status. And then this is going to check to see if input dot get key down. Eco dot space and cc dot is grounded. So if you press space and we're currently on the ground, then we're going to set it's jumping to true. And we're going to go ahead and check our status here. Or check status. Okay, 
So if one of these, if this condition is true, we're going to go ahead and jump, which we're going to trigger this. And if we're jumping, we want to use our upward moment or change our upward momentum's y to our jump speed or jump height. And we also want to go ahead and say that is jumping is false. Okay, so let's play. Let's go ahead and increment this to like 10. If you hit space, look at that, jump up in the air. So, if you look, when we go and jump, if you let go of the key, he just stops moving mid-jump, which is incorrect behavior. Uh, so to fix that, we're going to go ahead and have a concept of our, our last mo uh, momentum, um, which is just going to be a vector 3. Last forward, oh, I'm going to call it last forward, this is going to equal vector 3 dot 0. Um, so there's a couple things about last forward, it's going to constantly be reset and we're only ever going to care about it if we're currently jumping. Um, if we are currently jumping, then we want to set our last forward momentum equal to our forward, which is why we pass this in here. Okay. And then we want to go ahead and reset it each time that we're on the ground. Um, so this will go back into move. And if cc dot is grounded and else okay so if we're on the ground then last forward is equal to vector three dot zero otherwise we're not on the ground and we do not want to fold momentum anymore because we only care about our last forward momentum Okay, let's go back to the game. So what should happen is when we jump and let go of our movement keys, we keep moving forward. Um, let's give ourselves some jump height. Hmm. Oh, right, we, have, we actually have to use uh, last forward. Uh, last forward is going to be set forward plus equals last forward. So last forward is either going to be zero or when we're jumping what we jumped at.
And now you see that we jump properly. Okay, um, that's going to be it for right now. Thank you guys for watching. Guys. Did you even get to